In this lesson, we want to learn transform point tool and its uses. As you saw in previous lesson, we drew several objects into separate vector layers. We use the transform point tool to select objects inside them. But you should note that to select objects inside the layer, we must first select that layer. Well, to clear the scene, we delete layer 2 with this button. You can also select one by one to delete the drawing objects inside the layer 1 and delete them from the keyboard by clicking delete button. Or if you want to delete all at once, you can press Ctrl A and select all objects and then delete. To explain the tool, I draw an oval. After drawing the object, you can move the object by clicking on the transform point and then move the object. Pay attention to the symbol around the body. There are eight points around it. The four points on the object itself are used to scale and rotate the object. Hover the mouse over each one. The shape of the mouse change as you can see, which is to resize the object. As you can see, the aspect ratio of the object is not fixed. But, but if you move the mouse a little further away from these points, the shape of the mouse change and you will be rotate the object. But the other four points are in the frame and away from the object, which is to resize while maintaining the aspect, aspect ratio, as you can see. In the setting of this tool, we will teach the select group option in a select point tool lesson. Each time you change the tool setting, for each tool you can right click on its shape here and click reset tool until all select all settings are reset. This section has three main parameters for position, scale and angle. The position value is on the X and Y axis. Their value is relative to the center of the layer. For example, we type 0 on X and Y and snap to the center of the layer. Okay. The scale value is in the two axes X and Y. For example, we type number 2 in the x-axis, and you can see. You can also type any number at angle and rotate the object as you desire. Of course, to rotate manually, you can also rotate in 45 degree steps by holding shift key we explain the auto weld option in the add point tool the next option is show bezier handle for displaying point control handle to do this click on the empty space to deselect a deselect all of the object points now click on this point to select and turn on that option as you can see the curve handle of the point are displayed from this part you can take and change the curve or change the point itself to any place you want You can break these curves by holding ALT. If you realign this part, the handle will be aligned again. Fix Bezier Handle option. 
When we move this point, when this option is enabled, only the same point and curves next to it is moving. But if this option is off, the side curves change the shape accordingly. Two flip options. With these two options, we can mirror the object horizontally or vertically. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.